Okay. J'espère qu'elle va bientôt sortir. On va attendre. Ça vaut le coup. Ça y a le paye, elle se tire. Allez, on y va. D'accord, je te suis. Attention. Ouais. Allez, on les suit. C'est pas un problème, ça. Ils sont mieux, ceux-là. Ok. Putain, je, je me gèle les couilles, moi, là. Ça n'a pas besoin. I like you. I like you. I say, je t'aime beaucoup. Non, 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 vous êtes vraiment des sauvages. Ah, ah, ça, 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 ça,
So we ask, O oh Lord, that you deliver our beloved Maureen back into the loving embrace of her family. And we also ask for forgiveness for those lost souls who have caused so much pain and suffering to our family. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Ghost. Amen. Amen. Thank you, sir. You can screw that forgiveness part. Dad, you just got to believe that these prayers... I mean, that was some advice you gave her, huh? I mean, uh, see the world. That's not fair. Shouldn't we allow the State Department to do what they can? The State Department is doing dick. I've been discussing this matter... Thinking about this mess. I think I know a way to get Marine back. We'll talk about it tomorrow, okay, Pop? Don't hand me that. You and Mike will screw around forever with these government nitwits. You want action, not talk. Well, I agree, sir. But who do you think can help us? Well, there are a few, a very few men. Remo, Mac Boland, Jake Speed. In this case, I think probably Jake Speed's the man for the job. Uh, Pop, why... Well, do... uh, who are these people? I mean, what do they do? They defeat evil where it exists, Pinhead. But what's in it for them? You got mush for brains, man. They do it for us. Well, these are books. Characters in books. No shit. And why do you think they got to be books? I have no idea, Mr. Winston. Because so few decent things happen in this world that when something does, people like to read about it. You tell me who's out there trying to do the right thing. Grandpa, these fellas just exist in your imagination. Your ass. They get results. Something that's in pretty short supply around here. Now about that car. Sorry, Pop. Those weak, whining simps out there, they're letting the trail go cold as a witch's tit. They ought to nuke the bastards. We don't know who to nuke. I wish it were that easy. Oh, if I was only a little younger, I'd go get her back myself. I know you would, Pop. Now, this is nobody's fault. Maybe it's a blessing. At least your grandfather believes in somebody. Speedy Jake, Romero, whatever. Who are our heroes? Nobody. Right. In Pop's state of mind, there are fewer disappointments in life. Yeah. Did you hear something? No. Not heard. Choice. There's exciting and fascinating people inside. I'm game. I'm beat. Why don't you go? You sure? Yes. Well, well, no, I'll go with you. No, really. I'm just tired. You're gonna be all right? Mm -hmm. well, what's the latest on her sister? Hmm? Margaret's sister. Oh, nothing. Looks pretty bad. So there I was at the Coliseum. I, I just can't believe that people were sitting where I was thousands of years ago. I wish you were here. This is the most exciting thing I've ever done. I can't wait to hug you. I don't think Mom and Dad would ever have let me go if you hadn't talked them into it. Oh, I bought the best shoulder bag at the Spanish Steps. It's red. You will love it. Wait till you see what I've got for you. I sure hope you like it. God, I still can't believe I'm going to Paris. It's like a dream. I don't want this to end. I miss you lots. Kisses and hugs. Bye. Are you up?
Dad was right. It is my fault. <laughs> oh, Margaret. <laughs> What's that? What? <laughs> Just have done it at the party. This is so sick. What is it? If you want to find your sister, meet us at midnight at McGill's pub, San Pedro Docks. Ken, come with us. What? Another party. What do I whip? You look terrific. We can't go in there. How bad can it be? Awful. I understand places like this can be very rough. I'll pay you! Somebody get him up! I'll give you the damn money! Just in time for happy hour. Maybe we'll see somebody we know. I'll give you the damn money! Oh, shit. Margaret Winston? I'm Desmond Floyd. So what? Jake Speed's associate. Who? Jake Speed. Isn't that the guy your grandfather was talking about? The guy from the comic books? Paperback novels. Excuse me? You want to find your sister? This ought to be good. The boss is going to be here any second. I've had to talk him into considering your case. He's very particular. And you're very lucky. Hey. Sweet How they hey, Joel. Huh, baby? Stop it. What are you doing? <laughs> I'd like to introduce myself, you see. I was just sitting over there, and I just... You sit it. down. You, oh, you, come on. Come you're on. You're some kind I of hero. Why don't wrong? you do something heroic? Keep your hands to yourself. Don't worry. Is there anybody in this sleazy dump here who can help a lady? Be good to the little woman. I need a drink. So, Margie. Hmm. It's Margaret. Whatever. It's everything all set. What? What are you talking about? Ah, uh, sorry, boss. I got here a little late, and I, I, I didn't get to the details yet. Okay. Your sister was kidnapped in Paris two weeks ago. They contacted the State Department. Some Jamoke senator. They get nowhere. They'll never find her. I can. We leave tomorrow. You leave in two days. Des, give her the travel plans. Wait a minute, Buster. So you can read a newspaper. So what? Hey, uh, take it easy, Jake. She's harmless. She mean anything. Even weirdos can read. What is this shit? Easy, Jake. Easy. Stay with it. This is important for us. Your sister was kidnapped by an international gang of white slavers. You've got to be kidding. Just 
Look at her. She's perfect. This really feels right. Now, come on. Margaret. Would you just go? Would you just go? She's in Africa. Let me guess. You and the uh, urinator of Reamer are going to rescue her. It's Remo, the destroyer. And he works for somebody else. Oh, yeah? Pinnacle. Oh. Stand up. Can you handle an adventure? I've never had one before. I don't mean to be rude, but I don't read your books. <laughs> My grandfather does, though. He's a big fan. If you know so much about this, which it seems you do, why do you need me to go with you? Sometimes you do things the hard way. Why? Reads better. She, uh, has to go to the ladies' room. Have you lost your mind? Those, those men are crazy. D don't talk to them. It only encourages What them. if he's telling the truth? I mean, what if he does know where Maureen is? He probably knows where Santa Claus lives. Margaret, don't you understand? They are not who they say they are. Characters in books like that, they're not real. Buy it or memorize it. Is this guy real? Real? Yeah, real. Honey, uh, are, you, are you being serious? Sure, he's real. Everybody knows that. In fact, I play cards with him every Thursday night. Me, Jake Speed, Batman. Thanks. Oh, Sherlock Holmes. And, and once in a while, Superman sits in. You see, I told you. Even if he does exist, which obviously he doesn't, you can't run around the world with this wacko. You'd be crazy. Right? The Teflon-coated bullet cleared a neat path through Jake's hair. Even as Chuko and his gumsels were nearly upon him, he had to reach up, feel it, and laugh. You see, Jake's got this barber, Mario. Not some hairstylist, just a regular guy who cuts hair. Jake then threw Harv into an uncontrolled tailspin through Sid's fleeing heathen minions. They had never seen the likes of this kind of wagon. <laughs> Machine guns blazing from portholes, cannons firing from its rooftop, death pouring from everywhere. Harv truly was the four-wheel, five-speed hell men of evil had learned to dread. You gotta be kidding. <laughs> then, in a blur of motion, Jake unleashed the lead-spitting hell from the most powerful automatic weapon ever carried by a man, the kid.
guys. No, really. Sorry, guys. Excuse me, sir. Is there a payphone here? Uh, payphone? No, maybe next time. I'm not hungry today. No. Where is he? You made it. Sorry we couldn't pick you up, but uh, gas is six bucks a gallon. Where's Jake Speed? He's here. Jake, I'll be there. Jake. All right, boys. My lucky day. Yeah, hey, I'm just gonna ask. Abo. You sure then? Huh? Yeah. And it was. Well, I'm uh, Look at Dr. Peters. Welcome to the USA. USA? United States of Africa. Unfortunately, both states hate each other's guts. There's gonna be trouble. I'm sorry. Both states? Young country. Sure. What kind of trouble? Revolution. Jake! Yeah. Look who's here. Hi. Look nice. A revolution? Where, where are the drinks? Now? It well, looks like it. What are we gonna do? Hey, take care of this guy. It's uh, not something that we planned on, but we can handle it. That's gonna cost you. Have you found my sister? Oh. She's got some great leads. Like what? Kidding me? Ah! What are they? Well, what are they? Don't worry about it. Ah, 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 ah. Well, don't we have to hurry then? Ah! <laughs> We're rich. We're rich. We got at least 40 bucks. We don't have to sneak out of the hotel at night. So, Jake, what's the next step? We got everything under control. What do you mean under control? We're zeroing in. We're definitely zeroing in. This is Harv. The Wonder Car? You've been reading. Long flight. Our heavy armored raiding vehicle. It's been delayed. It's on its way. Right, Des? He'll be here, Jake. Des doesn't screw up like this often. You mean? Doug Savage used these freight guys all the time. Des. Des. What, what does that say about it? Savage isn't even in the business anymore. Wait. Well, you read about it. trying to tell you what to do, but we really need this one. I'll call you when I'm set. Let's hear from you soon. Gotcha. Where's he going? To work. Don't I have to check in? We're checked in. We? We. Mr. And Mrs. John Smith.
It's open. This will be fine. Just fine. Thank you. But let me tell you right now, bud. You sleep over here, and I sleep here. Don't even think about it. I can take care of myself. I can tell. I appreciate the backup. What are you doing? Lady, I'm a professional. You ought to know that by now. I don't know anything about you. You can read. Look, you don't want to go through with getting your sister back? Just pipe up. You know I can't go anywhere. I know. I was just testing you. Flunked. I always forget something when I travel. How about you? You travel a lot. Where's my toothbrush? They're kind of cute. Not my cup of tea, but pretty popular, I guess. So, where did you and Des meet? I am one. Yeah. Mr. Smith, uh, I have uh, two very eligible bachelors here in need of a date. That's great. Where are you? Monaco. Bar and grill. Get changed, baby. We're going out. This will be great. This? You're sure? Yeah. It's perfect. Where are we going? Monaco Bar and Grill. Sounds nice, huh? Why are we going for cocktails? No, I can answer that. Nice dress, good dinner, a few laughs, lots of drinks. Then we wander back here. Good plan. Guess I better shower first, huh? Good idea. We take a shower together. Come on, Maggie. Let's 
Go get your sister. You know, you never told me how much this was going to cost. What do you mean, cost? How much? How much do you charge? I don't charge. You mean, you don't charge money for what you do? No. And how could I do that? Suppose you were right. You didn't have enough money to pay me. All this for just about money. I'd be working for the wrong side most of the time. I gave last week. Damn. What? We're running out of time. Listen, if you're trying to scare me, you might as well forget it. Hi, baby. Whatever is paying you, I'll give you double. Walk away. And what if I don't feel like it? Then I'll tear your head off and shit in the hole. Smith. This is John Smith. Who are these guys? So, you guys interested? Yeah, I am. Screw him. You men say hungo shit. Yeah, man. Gentlemen. How much? Fifteen hundred dollars. Two thousand. Three thousand. Thirty-five hundred. Four thousand. I'm not selling a Buick. Get up. Hey, fellas. Maybe she ain't no day at the beach, but come on. Four thousand dollars, please. What? Why, you rotten son of a bitch! You said you'd find her! Jesus. She's a fiery bitch. I like that. 4500. Good. Five grand. For this. Ah. Wait. You don't want me? Why? I have.
have a venereal disease. Yeah? Mm-hmm. Dose? Clap? Mm -hmm. Drip? Sif? Mobile dandruff? Crutch crickets? All of it. Goody, goody. We got a lot in common, baby. <laughs> You would think they're fighting for paradise. Shit. Hold on there, Bill. Joe. You gonna pass up this little beauty? Hey, wait a minute now! Shut up! Oh, shit! We're talking a low mileage item. Ah, sold for $5,100, and you won't be disappointed. <laughs> Wait a minute. Where are you? Don't be a sore loser. Take it easy on the go. I'm the last original nice guys. Ah! Where are you going, my God? You're a heartbreaker. You've really screwed that up. Me? That's right. Turn everything all around. Me, you pissed everybody off and ruined a perfectly good plan. What are you talking about? Simple. We were gonna sell you to the guys who have your sister, follow you back to their hideout, break you both out, and then we all escape. So what it is, you'd get over it. But what if you sold me to the wrong guys? That'd make a piss poor story, wouldn't it? Oh, you son of a... Oh! God, this morning shit's for the birds!
All right. Enough of this bullshit. Back to plan A. You know, you always go with your first impulse. <laughs> I knew that, too. These clothes just for this trip. <laughs> Better pack. Why do you do this? Because that's what I do. Home. No, you don't. Things are just getting good. No! Okay! No more bullshit! No more cute remarks! Who are you guys, really? It's all in there! Look it up! All right. Who is Reno Mellon? We made it up. It's uh, Jake's favorite town and my favorite breakfast food. Why don't you shut up? Wait a minute! If you're such a big deal, why haven't they ever made a movie? You ever try to deal with those people? Look, you said you wanted an adventure. What the hell did you expect? A weekend in Palm Springs? I never said that. I said I wanted to find my sister. Jake! Don't walk away from me. Jake, don't blame this mess on me. Believe me, I don't blame you. You either get me out of here or you find my sister now. OK. OK, what? You're starting to piss me off. Jake! Jake! Get off my back! You fruitcake! You fairy! I bet you're both queer for each other. You know what I ought to do? I ought to... You're weird. What's wrong? Nothing. <clears throat> Hold on. Good. They give off heat. <laughs> oh, boy, that's not all. <laughs> this isn't bad. OK. What are we doing in this place? Uh, this is where Harv is supposed to be dropped. Right. Harv. The wonder car? Harv. The heavily armored raiding vehicle. It'll be here. Uh, boss. I don't know about this. We had a good plan. We didn't give it a chance.
What's going on here? What are you doing? Nothing. Trust me. What are you doing? What's going on? Trust me. It's very important. Des, let's get this out of the way. Take it. Oh. What? Go on, take it. Take the gun. What, are you crazy? Oh, forget it, Jake. Look, we, get, we can put the gun in later. Huh? Jake? What the hell is going on here? You don't have a cover. You don't have a book. Well, you, you like a good story. I don't give a good damn about a story! What I care about is my sister! Go get your sister. Sure. What makes you think some moronic car called Harv is gonna show up when it hasn't and it probably won't? Because I want it. And if you want something bad enough, you'll get it. You never had a plan. You crackpots never had a plan. Or was that the plan? Not to have one? You know, if it wasn't for me, you wouldn't have this opportunity. I mean, until I changed my mind about this plan, which I admit it was a mistake, but baby, I don't make very many of them. But maybe where you're concerned. We were going to wait here for that car called Harv to be dropped. And then we were going to fight our way through enemy territory. Scale the highest mountain in this goddamn place. Traverse a bridge that was about to collapse. And then if we were lucky, I mean, real lucky, we were going to fight our way through 2,000 extremely poisonous snakes. There are thousands of snakes around here? There's got to be if you look hard enough. You're mad. No, I'm sorry. You're a lunatic. Why? Why is that? Hasn't it ever occurred to you that there just might be an easier way? Yeah, so where's the entertainment value? I want my sister. I want my sister. I'm never going to find my sister. I'm never going to get out of here alive. Come on, kid. Snap out of it. Why do you think bad things happen, anyway? Do you have something good to look forward to? Everything was same-o, same-o. <laughs> die of boredom. Nothing can happen to you. We will find Maureen.
Thank you very much, Miss Winston! She couldn't have gotten that far. What the hell did she have to do this for? Maybe she thought it would make good reading. Something's happened to her. Which way? Town. Not even a note. Hi, good afternoon, miss. May we be of service? I'm lost out here. I was trying to get to the next town, but I don't know where it is. And I met these guys, but I'm not sure who, I'm not sure who they think they are. Oh, God, you don't know what I've been through. All the Europeans and Americans are being evacuated by the British consulate. Shall we take you there? Oh, that would be great. Would you like a dry overcoat? Sure. I, I'd love one. Yes, thanks. Excuse me, please. I'll be right back. I'll be right back. Probably saved my life. Oh, forget it. Hope you find your sister. Thank you. You be careful. Can't turn out this way. Well, that's an interesting and sad story, Miss Winston. I, I feel horrible hearing about your sister. Please excuse all this chaos. I, 
I feel quite sick about having to leave this magnificent place. Are these men Jake and Dez? Robert Romson and James Packwood. I have to admit they are con men with a lot of imagination. Romson? Packwood? Why doesn't she believe us? We believe. That's why we win. They brought other Americans in for one adventure or another. Last Christmas, it was a baby dinosaur hunt. We've had to save their skins from some pretty irate customers, I can tell you. This is their first rescue mission, though. Tea. Cream, sugar? I mean, I can't believe it. They were really nice. It's not very real. As it's root, root, root for the home team. If they don't, if we don't win, it's a shame. Because it's one, two, three strikes, you're out at the old ball game. Maggie? Hi. Jake? No. Just glad we didn't mess up a good book. Um, uh, I, uh, I, I have to, uh, excuse me. This is great. You being back, I mean, it's great. I mean, it's, it's, it's great. Jake, I... No, I mean, this is perfect timing, too. I mean, there's lots of confusion out there. I mean, we, we slip in, bit, bop, boom, then we're gone. I mean, it'll, it'll work. I mean, you look great, too. We couldn't leave her to run around the way she was. There are laws against that around here. You didn't have to come. Wait a minute. Jake, I'm sorry. They said that you were. Never mind. I'll handle it. So, so we go. You're expected. Move it.
I'm sorry. That almost says it all. I'm sorry. Swell. I'm sorry I screwed up your plan. Whatever that was. What is that supposed to mean? My plan was a good one. Fine. I'll never doubt you again. Good. Where are they taking us? Well, I don't want to ruin your day, but... you're about to meet... the slimiest son of a bitch to ever walk this earth. You know who he is? Oh, yeah. We go way back. Back to... Volume 2. Too bad we never met before. Hey, I wasn't talking to you, ass ears. You to talk to me now? Oh, yeah. What about? How about your profile? <laughs> <laughs> Don't worry. This guy isn't gonna hurt us. His boss wants the honor. Solid chicks, Mustafa. Come on, girl. Stand in front of the gentleman. Two angels from Los Angeles. These girls, they know how to party. Don't you, my dears? <laughs> Don't you just love this Santa? Ah, you want them white? Well, easy. Just keep them out of the sun. What do you say? 25 grand? A piece? Gee, but the price. Excuse me. Ah! Oh, I'm sorry for the interruption. Now, come on. Damn. What did we say? We. 30 grand a piece, was it? Look at this. This rug cost ten thousand dollars, and you're draining this savage's blood on it. Sydney, you are supposed to be selling, not shooting. Morris, shut your yap. Sell or shoot, don't do both. If this thing doesn't come out, he doesn't understand beauty. All he knows is his money on the crudest level. Who really has the business mind in this family? Well, it's me, of course. I read the Wall Street Journal. He doesn't. It's not that I feel in any way superior to him. It's just that he can be so... Oh. Ah! Margie! Maureen! I want to go home. I told you I could find her. What have you done to my sister? Relax, Toots. You and I should feel so good. <laughs> G. 
shake. Sid. You know my brother Maurice. Hi. Maurice. Mr. Speed. Oh, this is wonderful. A family reunion. I'm touched. Yes. Oh, well, I'd love to have a talk with you, but, uh... But this berg is crumbling, and I've got inventory to move. I'll try stop by and see you before we kill you. It's great seeing you, Jake. You too, Sid. I'll be seeing you. <laughs> no, it's unlikely. Hey! Toots! Yeah, a bit straight, but you've got potential. You scum-sucking pig! <laughs> How old are you, pussycat? <laughs> How old? Twenty-seven. Yes, that's what I thought. <laughs> Sorry, this is a game for you. You putrid rat, you son of a bitch! You... I'm sorry. <coughs> Keep it there. I've been looking for one of these. Must have bought that in the little boy's department. <laughs> if you tell anyone how much you paid, I'll deny it. You gentlemen are tough. Now, Morris here will tie up all the little details like um, cashola. Morris, will you leave that bleeding rug alone for crying out loud? We've got business here. We've got business here. Morris! You know, Maggie? I was really proud of you back there. You really, really got balls. I guess I should thank you for getting us this far. Nah, you don't have to. You're right. We're going to be executed within the hour anyway. Not if we get out of here first. Yeah. I told you not to buy here. Oh, no, brother, that was your idea. Never. Have you got a defective memory? Excuse me. What do you want? It's getting real dangerous out there, boss. I think we better roll. Well, make sure that Ali Baba gets his babes. I've got a reputation to protect. Jeez, be careful. Yeah. Yeah, that's more like it. How did you arrange this? Did you see me tie myself up? I mean, let's be professional about this. Before we split, take care of Speed and the sister. The 
You better do it now. You said you'd visit them first. I was being polite. Oh. Where did you get that scar? Oh, that, uh, that would be, uh, I am 12. I thought so. Are you sure you're trying your best? Trust me. Only hurt a little. I doubt it. What do we do now? Find some more rope. I. It's a joke. <laughs> Albert Buck. <laughs> That's pretty good. <laughs> Where's Speed and the girl? They got away. Oh. How awful. Poor Rodrigo. Did they hurt you? I'll get over it. This is terrible. Go after them. Rest, Rodrigo. Rest. You're very kind, Morris. Oh, that feels good. Sydney! Morris, I'm eating. This'll rot your caviar. Speed and the girl have escaped. Faker! I'll. Sydney, I already did. Without even a goodbye, Jake. I'm crushed. Being the good guy is so predictable. You do everything right. As for myself. Oh, God damn animal. Oh. Mwah. Sid. Leave them out of this. Have fun with me. I wouldn't dream of hurting these girls. <laughs> Just a show of power. 
I'm a bad guy, Jake. I do anything I want. I lie. I cheat. I steal. I kill. Let's see. Have I left something out? I take great pride in never having lived up to anything. Right, Jake? Right. It's in there. It's his gun. You're crazy! You can get another one! Hospitality suite. On the contrary. Drop it. <laughs> well, it's one less shirt to pack. <laughs> Things don't look too good for you, Jake. Thanks for the tip. Perhaps I didn't need to say so. But then you and me go back a long way. Go on. Bring him down from there.
Well, beats the hell out of tender victuals. Oh, I'm glad it's you, Jake. I don't know what I do. Wait, hold on. Jake, do something. Sit there. If you think that I am going to do your packing. <laughs>
get it first, I'll make you rich! I'll kill you if we don't! your own news. Now it's terrorists, farmers, politicians, lawyers, people like me. Everybody's living off somebody else. But don't you get it, Jake? It's our time. You're too good to be true. Your history, Jake. If that were true, the gun wouldn't have jammed. Evil may triumph, Sid, but never conquer. Boy 
kick out. Refreshing, isn't it? Let him go, Sid. No! Come on, Jay. here. This one's gonna make us bigger than ever. You're a crazy bastard, Speed. Come on, we need a big finish. What are you up to? A little reading. Can I guess?
I gotta pick up something. You don't really expect to hear from again, do you? Yes, I do. All right, put him right there. Shake a leg, kid. Buying it or you memorize it? I'm gonna buy two. One for Grandpa and one for me. <sighs> Thank you. Well, I, I don't have much change. Keep the change. Give it to Jake at the next card game. The Dodgers won three to nothing. Jake was miffed. He hated the Dodgers, and he knew he'd hate McGill's pub, too. Turned out he was wrong. Anyway, McGill's pub... Hey, what, what a, a joke. joke. More like a roach barn for laid-off longshoremen. All for some harebrained scheme of Dez's. A woman on an adventure? Come on. It wasn't done. But her eyes reflected more than a potential physical therapy session. They radiated need confidence. As Jake would soon find out, courage. Truly irresistible. This time, when the lights came on, Jake had Margaret in hand. Don't be a sore loser, Jake taunted. With that, another explosion rocked the room. The lights went out, allowing Jake to head for the nearest exit. With Margaret in tow, Jake plunged through a window three stories to the ground. Thank the gods for the two rebel soldiers unfortunate enough to be standing where they landed. Jake and Margaret were up and off, pursued by the rest of the squashed rebel buddies. All 100 of them, guns blazing back and forth.